So the awards were established back in 2014 with the National Care Forum. Um, we found that there was a real gap in celebrating people, small organisations, not-for-profit organisations. They were doing amazing things, but didn't feel that they were maybe big enough or doing enough to enter kind of the bigger Glitzier Awards. It's just a highlight of the year. It's not only the awards ceremony itself, and you can just see the excitement and the pride that people have. Every year goes from strength to strength and every year I'm amazed by the inspirational stories by the, the people that work in the sector. So I think it's really important to recognise the not-for-profit sector at something like this because there are so many people that do incredible things every single day just as part of their day and they have no idea about the impact that they have on people, what they're doing for communities, for families and the support that they offer and the lives that they're changing. It feels amazing to win the awards. Being uh, nominated by the CEO was, yeah, for 14 years work. So yeah, pretty amazing. I think it's important to recognise people in the care sector because it's, it's a hidden sector and people don't see what goes behind the scenes. And the winner is Safe Spaces. It felt amazing to win the award today. I think that, you know, the award is a real nod to the success of the collaboration of Safe Spaces. So that's Mind in Bradford and the Cellar Trust. You know, winning the award really feels like that recognition and that acknowledgement. Someone from Birmingham Mind today was really interested in the model, you know, was looking to adapt and looking to explore. And that kind of networking on a national stage again is just so invaluable. So we want to really put on a day that they can remember. And obviously without the support of Marco, we just wouldn't really be able to do it year on year. So it's really lovely to build a relationship with them and for them to build a relationship with us and our judges and a lot of our finalists and winners as well. I go to awards with, you know, the best actress in this and it's really completely and utterly irrelevant compared to these awards because these people go to work every day and give their heart and soul just because they're great human beings and that's something that you can never take away from them and they're all winners to me, I absolutely love them. I think this event is really important for demonstrating Markel's commitment to the care sector because quite often people in the sector are working in really difficult situations under highly pressured circumstances often with little resource. What these awards are about is real people doing real things, creating magic out of nothing. 